Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this star trail render. So let's get started. For this tutorial I'm gonna use this simple scene I created. If you want to follow along, you can download it following the link in the description. At first I want to import the background. The download link for the node group I'm using is also in the description. After appending the group to your file, you have to open the world nodes, add the group and connect it to the world output. In order to actually see the background, you have to switch to viewport shading and enable scene world. Now you're able to see the stars. This guy is completely procedural, which means that you can adjust everything to how you like it. In order to create the star trail effect, we have to be able to rotate the stars. That's why we have the rotate set property in our node group. But as you can see, this only rotates the stars along the global set axis. To manipulate the rotation axis, we can use the coordinates of another object. To do that, we need to add a texture coordinate node and plug it into the rotation coordinates. Now we can add an empty and select it with the texture coordinate node. Now the sky should rotate with our empty. This only works if toggle coordinates has a value of 1. Now the rotation slider in our node group affects the local set axis of our MT. For the star trails effect, the rotation point must be in frame of the camera. If you put toggle rotation point to 1, you'll see two red dots on the rotation points. This makes it much easier to place them in frame. Now you can see that all the stars rotate around this point. For the render I want to make the stars a little bit smaller and turn off the ground darkness. I also want to adjust the brightness of the horizon. The next step is to keyframe the rotation. I decided to use 500 frames. The more frames you choose to take, the higher the resolution of your star trails will be. Now animate the stars to rotate 360 degrees. Now 
now put the second keyframe far back to around frame 2000. Don't forget to change the keyframe interpolation to linear. Set the render engine to Eevee. Go to the output tab and render it as an image sequence. To convert the image sequence into the actual star trails, we're gonna use this free software called Star Trails. You can download it from this website. Now you just have to import all the images and let the program do the rest. I hope you liked this tutorial and I'm excited to see your results.